Hello CS community, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I will teach you how you can uh, use a package from pub.dev locally into your Flutter application. The benefit is there, there are scenarios when you are using some third party library, there are limitations. Like if the developer is changing something online, that will be changed into your Flutter app as well. But if you want to change something, let's suppose there you are using a calendar or uh, downloaded from pub.dev, you're accessing that calendar which is available online on pub.dev, uh, any package you're using and you want to make some change into that package like you want to change the color but there is no property for changing that color. So if you download that package and store that package locally into your Flutter project, then you can make changes however you want. You can change that package however you want. But if you're accessing that package online, which is available on pub.dev or any other third party platform, you cannot edit that package. You can only stick to the limitations. If there is a property for doing something, you can do that. But if there is no property of doing that specific thing, whatever you want to do, that won't be possible until and unless you download that package and store into your own application. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how can you do that. So let's search for some package uh, I will go to the Google and I will write let's suppose decorated text pop.dev and let's choose this one and here you see this is the package and it's kind of interesting that uh, like you can within one text body you can change the color of a part of text you can make a part of text a paragraph you can use URL as well you can you can make click events of that URL you can make click events uh, of uh, some specific text you can highlight and also you can explore like there are examples as well so we are gonna use this package and I'm gonna store this package locally into the project and I will show you how you can make changes uh, once the package is stored locally into your project so first I'm gonna copy this name and I will create a new flutter application I will name it uh, local practice and from here I will uncheck these options just because we are this is just a practice project I will go with Android and iOS and finish and here we have our project so first time what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run this application on emulator and let's run it now I'm gonna use that that package as it is as we use in like we access the package from pub.dev so I will go to pubspec.yml file I will paste that the name of package in here I will click on pub sorry pub get and now I will go back to that website where is it here and I'm gonna copy this first example and I'm gonna paste it into my flutter project I will go here I'm gonna remove this whatever we are getting by default I'm gonna remove this class and I'm gonna create a new widget a stateful widget I will name it local package screen and also I'm gonna call this screen in here I'm gonna make this as an entry point of our project and I'm gonna remove these comments as well and uh, here I will replace this placeholder with scaffold and I'm gonna take one app bar as well title text and here this is my custom local text and here in the in the body I'm gonna take a center widget and in center widget I'm gonna paste that uh, example that we are gonna copy from here and let's paste it in here and we need to import the library as well just because we added the package and we need to if we want to access that package we need we need to import the library and it's be, being imported in here and let's see the changes what we have got into the screen and here we have this and to make it look better I'm gonna wrap this center widget with the container and I'm gonna apply some padding Smith break horizontal 20 
so now we need to find out that package where it is stored where we are accessing that package and I'm gonna copy that package and I will store that package into my own project as a local property of this project so let's find out this package and uh, for that I will go to uh, my home directory and if you, this is Mac if you're using Windows you can find that uh, this in the administrator folder like um, whatever your name is whatever your, the name of that folder you can find that this folder from there as well and this is dot pop cache open it and here you will get this uh, hosted package and here you will get this pop dot dev and here you see all of the package that I'm using from pop dot dev so here I will search for uh, for the package that I want and it will be decorated text maybe I guess and from here I will search this pop dot dev that only search in this folder and here we have this package I will copy this package and I will open this project I will go to the location where I have this project now this is the project root folder paste that package in here and here we have that package and now close it okay now we have that package in here which is stored locally into our project so we need to change the path from here I will remove this uh, I will not remove all of this I will just remove the version and I will uh, write the same name of that package I will press enter and here I will write path and we will give the actual path of this uh, project uh, sorry uh, actual path of this uh, like uh, this package so I'm gonna right click on it and I will click on refactor rename I will copy the exact name I will paste in here and I will click on pub get and if the pub get is successful then we are good to go now we remove the dependency and now we are accessing this package from here and if I will run the application again so there is no change which means the local locally stored package is working now now we can make changes into this uh, locally stored uh, package and it will remain as it is whatever we are changing we can now everything is in our control so if if you're using some package and uh, you you find some limitations you can add that package is the package locally into your project and you can change whatever you want so let's uh, do something within this project here we have this widgets folder I will go to this widget folder and here we have this text align property I will change just a little bit just to show you that you can make any change however you want so I will change the alignment to center and see our text is in center now I am actually making change into that package and it's implementing into our app screen as well in here I didn't do anything from here actually I changed the package the, that we locally stored into this project so that's how you can add and store any package from pop.dev locally into your project and you can make any change whatever you want just because once you have the code everything is in your hand and you can do it thanks for watching the video if you like the video you can subscribe the channel and click the bell icon as well for your own benefit and also you can like the video thank you very much see you in the next tutorial bye